All right, you guys, you, there's a playlist that Thomas sent out. I'm hoping that you had a chance right now to just check your volume. And let's say in the count of by in like the next five counts, we're going to end up, this is we're going to start on the ground on your back. My recommendation is for you to put your head towards whatever you think your front is. And um, on the way down, we'll hit play in just a second. Let me walk back. So we're going to start lying on the ground head towards whatever your front is with your feet flat on the floor, knees to the sky. And again, there's two silent tracks. So we'll hit play. I hope this works in three, two, one, and hit that first silent track. So we have about five minutes of silence here. And then once you're down on your back with your feet on the earth, your knees to the sky, feel free to rest your hands um, on your abdomen, but a little bit wider and a little bit to the side. So um, the heels of my hands are at my ribs, my elbows soft on the earth. So I don't feel like I have to hold, hold them up. And close your eyes if you're comfortable closing your eyes. And begin to pay attention. And see if you can begin to notice as you exhale, if you put just a little bit of oomph in your hands to soften your rib cage in the ribs toward one another. And as you breathe in, there's an expansion. And with your exhale, let your hands just coax your ribs towards the center. Everyone's getting settled. Pups are getting settled. And you, as you continue to obviously breathe and explore, not only does the ribs kind of soften in towards the middle, but see if you can sense um, your chin and even your pubic bone drawing in towards the center a little bit. And then as you breathe in, an expansion. And as you exhale, like all the ends peeling in. Do you know at the bakery Hewn, they have those um, seasonal galettes and the dough it folds over everything. The dough folds over to the middle, to the yummy fruity part. Picture like the outer edge of your body with every exhale that you're the dough folding in on the yummy part. And breathing in is always an inspiration, is always an expansion. But as you exhale, draw in. It might help to visualize the wall of the belly pulling down. And take three more breaths together. Again, inhale, filling it up. And exhale as if your belly button's the drain on the bathtub. It pulls down and everything kind of moves towards that drain. <laughs> There's a great sound effect happening right now here in the studio. Inhale, expand. And exhale everything through that midpoint, through the middle. And again, one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. And pause at the bottom of that exhale so something is already happening and drive firmer into your feet and begin to coil your tailbone up off the earth and rolling up bone by bone by bone as you ride up to the crest of the shoulders. Pause here for a moment. Breathe in when you need to. We'll, we'll coordinate in just a second. But on the way down, sometimes I use my hand to really kind of find this. You can put your fingertips on your sternum. And as you draw the sternum down, I almost feel like the, the bottom edge of the sternum is moving towards the belly button to soften your heart down towards the floor. And then again, bone by bone, each articulation as you lower back down to the floor, feeling the back of your waistband touch. And then as the tailbone tilts, there's an expansion. And then press into the feet. Allow the exhale to scoop the low belly, scoop the tailbone, and then slowly rise the pelvis up towards the ceiling. And then again, start from the sternum softening, feel the articulation of the back of the heart 
and then bone by bone by bone as you lower down and then feel the back of the waistband in your tush. Um, the track just started for me, so hopefully that's happening for you. And then continue a few more rounds on your own. You're lifting up into a bridge pose. And as you lift up into bridge, feel like your knees are laser beams towards my voice or towards whatever your front is. So that's um, lasering towards the front of the space. And then really concentrating. Elizabeth, is your cat literally on you? It is, that is hilarious. So a few more rounds and sense if you can really articulate the spine that you don't feel like you're lowering in a chunk at all. Mm-hmm. Good. From what I can see, you obviously get it. It's good, good, good stuff. All right. The next time you find your way down onto the ground, pause and allow the drain, the belly button to still pull down and then lift your legs up towards the sky. I don't care at all if your legs are straight or the knees are soft. I find it helpful to pull the toes back and have the ankles be active. Take your hands above you, make a fist with your hands. My arms are straight. I'm interlacing my fingers and I feel like I wanna punch the ceiling. I don't feel like that, but that's what's happening. <laughs> And then slowly draw your chin into your chest, lift your head and your shoulders off the mat. I'm not reaching my fist towards my feet. I'm reaching my fist directly towards the ceiling and try to scoop your tailbone up off the ground as well. And if I continue to reach through the knuckles, through the wrists, I can lift my shoulders a little bit higher. No tension in the jaw. If you're like, oh my God, I'm totally quaking, I am too and then slowly lower your hips, lower your shoulders and lower your head and hug your knees into your chest for a moment. Take a big deep breath in, big deep breath out. Let's do that again. Reach the legs up, feet active. Maybe the knees are straight, maybe they're bent, that doesn't matter. Interlace your hands, maybe put the other finger on top, make a tight fist with your hands. The arms stay straight, poke the knuckles up towards the ceiling, draw the chin into the chest, lift your head, lift your shoulders, and then lift your tailbone up off the ground so you feel like a weird bug. You can tell my, my, by my voice, I'm doing it too. And we'll hold here three more moments, two more moments, reach through the wrist, through the knuckles, one more moment and then lower your hips, lower your head, lower your shoulders, hug the knees into the chest. All right, the rest is over. Put your feet back on up there, make your tight fist. This time, place your hands on the outside of your right knee. Both arms are straight. Draw the chin into the chest, lift your head, lift your shoulder, especially the right shoulder blade. The right shoulder blade. We're gonna take five little pulses. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Hello, 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 and lower down. All right, other side, put your fists on the outside of your left knee. It helps to go segment, draw the chin into your chest, roll your shoulders off the mat, especially the left shoulder blade. Try to get that one off the floor. Five little pulses, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one and hold and gently lower your head, your shoulders, hug your knees into your chest. Stretch your legs out underneath you. It might feel good to give your um, arms a stretch above your head, reach through your toes, just lengthening your abdomen for a sec. And then flip over onto your belly and we'll meet in Sphinx pose. And now we're facing hopefully whatever your front is. Come up onto your forearms, spread your fingers, reach your legs long, your tailbone reaching towards your heels, and then drag your ribs away from your waistband. Liz, this cue is for you. Pull the crown of your head, perhaps in going, instead of going straight up, pull it slightly forward. I'm firming my forearms into the ground and then dragging my elbows backwards, trying to lengthen the low back. And then depending on how your back feels, maybe the heart picks up Maybe the collarbones open and your head lifts up. Two more breaths. One more breath. 
Slip your elbows out from underneath you and lower your forehead down to the ground. Place your hands underneath your armpits. Press all the way back into child's pose. Mm. In child's pose, fill your back body. Stay here and exhale completely. Lift up about 20, 30% and thread your right arm underneath your left arm, but keep your face and your chest forward, facing the floor. Walk your hands, your fingertips away from you. I find it easier, it feels better on my shoulder to roll the right palm up towards the ceiling. And then with your left palm, press it into the mat, pull the hips backwards. And with your right arm, feel like you're tugging your right arm out from underneath you. Thomas, can you straighten your left arm? And then roll the outer edge of your left armpit down so your chest is facing the floor. Yeah. Good. Take a, a, a kind of an inventory of this outer edge of your right shoulder. One more breath. And then lift up enough that you can switch. Put your right hand out in front of you. Thread your left arm underneath your right armpit. Your chest, your face will continue to face the earth. Creep your hands, your fingertips out in front of you. And then drag your right hip crease back. Wiggle walk your right fingertips as far forward as you can. Right armpit wraps down. And then with your left arm, it's counterintuitive, right? Your left arm is reaching to your right but you're actually kind of feeling like you're dragging it out from underneath you and investigate the tissue on the outer edge of your left shoulder. One more breath. Exhale completely. Lift up enough, thread your arms out in front of you. Breathe in, rise up into all fours. Tuck both sets of toes and slowly elevate your hips up and back, downward facing dog, and make this one whatever you want it to be. It could be a bent knee down dog. It could be a wiggly down dog. It could be a static down dog. And we'll take three breaths. Inhale. Try exhaling out through your mouth. <sighs> Inhale. Exhaling out through your mouth. One more, inhale. And exhaling out through your mouth. Look at your hands and take a slow motion walk to the top of your space. Boop, 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 boop. Waking up the soles of your feet. And when you arrive here, a little space between your big toes, your spine dangle for a moment. Breathe in, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, release your head and fold forward. Push through your feet, inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, take your hands together at your heart. Gotta get a little warmth going. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Um, breathe in, come up halfway. As you exhale, step your right foot for the back of your mat. Firm your hands into the floor and step downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward into high plank. Hesitate in plank, push the ground away, long arms. In this position, feel like your thumbs are trying to talk to one another. Feel there's some force from the outside of your arm as they hug in. Keep that feeling and move your forehead, your nose forward and then bend your elbows lower all the way down to the ground. Release your toes, inhale, cobra. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, float your right leg slowly, extending it towards the sky. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Pause for a moment as you inhale, soften your back knee to get a little stretch for the front of the left hip and then step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Smush through your feet, inhale, rise all the way to stand. And exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot for the back of your mat. Firm your hands, downward facing dog. That's a lot on an exhale, we'll survive. Inhale, shift forward into plank and let's take this one slow again. Push the arms down into the earth. You'll feel almost like a cat pose in your upper back. Drag your thumbs towards one another. So isometrically pull the arm bones in. Keep that, but tilt your heart, your head, your chin forward, and then bend your elbow slowly lower down. Release your toes, inhale, cobra. Tuck your toes, exhale, down dog. From down dog, inhale, float your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Breathe in, look forward as you dip your back knee, stretching open the front of the right hip and then step to the top of your mat. Smear your feet into the floor, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, take your hands to your heart. We'll do that two more times, one each side. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back and then step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. See if you can put those pieces together and exhale calmly, bend your elbows lower down to the earth. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest, no hurry. Tuck your toes, drive back with your pubic bone, your thigh bones, downward facing dog. Inhale, float the right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Take a breath in to soften your back knee, pull your heart forward. Exhale, step the back foot to the top of your mat. Smear your feet into the floor, inhale, rise. Exhale, your hands to your heart. One last round, inhale, reach high. Exhale, hinge and fold. Yeah, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the left and then the right foot back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, coax your head, your heart forward, plank. Smear the hands into the mat, long arms, and then exhale, calmly bend your elbows, lower all the way down to the earth. Release your toes, beautiful. Inhale, coil and lift your heart, cobra. Tuck your toes, exhale, drive back, downward facing dog. Good, let's add on for, oh no, I can't add on from here. Inhale, lift the left leg high, I got excited. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Take a breath in, open the chest, dip your back knee and then step to the top of your mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, release your head and fold. Move your big toes to touch. I stopped doing it, so I sort of altered it. That's all right. Deep bend to your knees, chair pose, utkatasana. Let's still create some, a little, little bit of heat. With your next exhale, lay your ribs on your thighs and gently forward fold over your legs. Oh, I see Liz taking off a layer, that's good news. Deep bend to your knees, inhale, chair pose, utkatasana, sit way back in your heels, squeeze the legs together. Exhale, forward fold. Awesome, one more time. Chair pose, utkatasana. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Keep the right foot forward, step the left guy back. And then no sudden movement, slowly lower the left knee, slowly. And then uncurl your toes, walk your hands up your front thigh and lift your chest. All right, just a reminder, it's not the deepest lunge. It's not where the bones come to an end. Have some muscular action to pull up. Take your hands out in front of you, interlace your fingers and feel like you're going to um, punch the front of the room. You'll feel the shoulders slide off your back. So there's a little bit of a lengthening across your upper back. Keep that, keep your right big toe smushed into the mat and turn to your right. Keep both of your arm bones straight, both of your arm bones straight. And with your right hand, feel like you're pulling the left knuckles towards that side of the room. And then slowly come back to the center. Keep your feet smooshed into the mat, reach your arms up towards the sky. Eyes can follow and now feel like the arm bones lengthen and your knuckles could touch the ceiling. 
Keep what you've created, let your arms separate, swing them behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then now imagine the knuckles could slide down your left thigh and end up in your left knee pit. One more breath. Exhale, release. Place your hands at the top of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step forward. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Deep bend to your knees. Inhale, chair. Sit way back in your booty. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times. Deep bend to your knees. Inhale, chair. Exhale. One more time. Chair. Exhale, forward fold. Breath in, half lift. Left guy stays, right guy steps back. No sudden drop to the earth. Slowly pull the thigh bones apart and lower your back knee. Uncurl your toes. Walk your hands up your front thigh. Lift your chest. Give yourself the little reminder. Lift up and then take your hands out in front of you. If you remember what hand was on top, you put the other hand on top and then lengthen your arms. Pull your shoulder blades off your back. And then keep this fierceness that you've set up in your arms, right? They're super straight. Take that with you. Don't let the left knee wag at all and turn to your left. And now let your left knuckles feel like they're driving your right knuckles over to the corner. Feel what's happening through the abdomen to create this twist. Slowly come back to the center and lift your arms towards the sky. And let the knuckles lift you up. The wrists lift you up. One more breath. Release your hands, take them behind your back. Interlace your fingers back here. Broaden the collars and let your knuckles slide down your right thigh, feeling as if they could end up just cradled in the pit of your knee. It's a fun word to say. Good, one more breath and exhale, release your hands, place them at the top of your mat and step to the top. Big deep breath in, come up halfway. Exhale, release your head and fold forward. Inhale, reach for the sky, rise all the way up and exhale, take your hands together at your heart. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Take a breath, come up halfway. Exhale, place your hands at the top of your mat and walk your way backwards into plank pose. Pause and plank. Pretend your teacup or your latte cup is behind your heart so it can't dump, it's really hot. Your head doesn't fall off, the back of your head lifted, push the earth away. Keep the weight even in your hands, roll your heels to the right. Rise through the center and roll your heels to the left. Rise through the center. As you rock your heels to the right, chances are your left hand gets a little lighter. So you're gonna just pay attention to that. Roll your heels through the center. Rock your heels to the left. Pay attention to your right hand. Let's do it one more time. Rise through the center. Rock your heels to the right. Feel the pelvis twist. Heels up, rock your heels to the left. Heels up and hold. Lower your knees, uncurl your toes, take your hips to your heels, returning to child's pose. All right, come up in child's pose about 20%, thread your right arm underneath your left armpit like we did at the beginning, but this time to Thomas's grin, put your right ear, your right shoulder. If it doesn't touch, you could put a block or a blanket, a towel. Then take your left hand and interlace your fingers to your right hand. And then as you straighten your left elbow, you're dragging your right arm underneath you. You're rolling the left ribs to the sky and rolling the right ribs underneath you. So try to find your way to this point where both arms are straight and you can feel what's happening through your abdomen as you rotate the belly, rotate the ribs. Yeah, good, one more breath. And then release, 
slide through the center. Let's rise onto all fours momentarily and take cat pose to neutralize the spine. Push the arms into the ground, let your head hang heavy. And then come back down into child's pose to tackle the second side. Thread your left arm underneath your right armpit. Put your left ear, your left shoulder, either on the floor or on a block, on a um, blanket, none of that matters. And then take your hands, interlace your fingers. And as you straighten your top arm, your right arm, allow your right ribs to roll to the sky. Feel like your right arm is tugging your left arm towards that side of the room, right? It's like pulling it underneath you. And then feel what's going on through your belly, through your abdomen as you rotate the right ribs. So you can let them go with you as opposed to resisting. So easier said than done, I know. One more breath. And then gently release. Slide your hands underneath you. Rise up onto all fours. Again, one cat pose to neutralize the spine. Scoop the low belly, long arms. Breathe in, open the chest. Tuck both sets of toes, slowly activate your hips up and back, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, float your right leg to the sky. Exhale, draw your right knee towards your left armpit. Right knee, left armpit. Feel the pelvis twist underneath you. Continue to squeeze your right inner thigh towards your belly. Don't let it get heavy. Inhale, reach the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Move your left foot over and flat onto the floor. Rise on up, warrior one. From this warrior one, swing your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, broaden the collars, and then slowly straighten your front leg. If now you're like, oh my God, my hips are off, my feet feel funky, change your feet so that you feel stable on two feet and you feel like you can wrap the left hip forward. Your arms are back here. Just tap your left glute and see if it's dead or alive. <laughs> Lengthen from your left glute, dead or alive. Lengthen from your left glute to your left heel. And then keep that, bend your right knee. And then start from the pubic bone, tilt your pubic bone, move the heart forward. You can keep the spine long, humble warrior, or let your head go, knuckles to the sky. See what's better, what feels better in your low back. And just driving some breath, some heat into your oh, beautiful barb, right into your right glute. I'm gonna hug the right glute in. Two more breaths. One more breath. Lead with your knuckles, your wrist. Let that drive you up to stand. Stretch your arms up towards the sky. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Exhale, swing your hands down to the ground and step back into down dog. Just pause. Let's do the left leg. Float the left leg high to the sky. Draw your left knee towards your right armpit, allowing the underneath to twist. Keep holding and squeezing it in so it's not just a pose that you're just like, I made a shape and I'm waiting. And then inhale, lift the left leg up into the sky, really nice. And step your left foot lightly between your hands. Move your right foot over and flat. Spread your toes and then rise on up, warrior one. Swing your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, other thumb on top, and then slowly straighten your front leg and readjust your feet if you need to. Sometimes what I see and what happens to me too is like everything dumps to the front. See if you can reorganize a little bit here. And now that your arms are back here, tap your right booty. Say alive, alive. So from your right booty to your right heel, keep that anchor and then pull the left thigh bone forward as you bend the left knee. Tilt the pubic bone, right? Tilt the tail and then move forward. Head forward or head low, whatever feels like the right prescription for your low back. And holding here, yeah. 
Really nice, Linda, that looks beautiful. Nice, Elizabeth. Last three. Last two. Without changing the legs, can you move your nose, your chin forward, rise on up, celebrate, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, swing your hands to the earth and step backwards into downward facing dog. Good, from downward facing dog, shift forward into high plank, hold momentarily, make sure your shoulders feel that you can trust them and then drop down onto one elbow, second elbow and interlace your fingers. Move your big toes to touch, squeeze your legs together and then dip your heels over to the right. Maybe your hips go a little bit further down towards the floor and then draw them back to the center. Dip your heels to the left and maybe let the hips go for a really kind of drastic ride. Maybe they tap the ground and then come back through the center. Heels to the right, you decide how much the hips go with you. Maybe hips to the right and then all the way back through the center. Heels to the left, hips roll to the left and back to the center. Let's do one more set. Roll the heels to the right. Maybe the hips do a little dippy do. That's the technical term, back to the center. Roll the heels to the left. And then again, maybe the hips drop down and come back to the center. We'll meet here and hold for three. Lengthen through the tail for two. And last one. Set your knees on the floor, uncurl your toes, and then as the pelvis drops, the head lifts high. Ah, seek your elbows out from underneath you as you lower down, hands by your ribs. Inhale, coil and lift your chest. Tuck your toes, drive back. Downward facing dog. All right, inhale, stretch the right foot to the sky and then lightly step your right foot between your hands, preparing for a high lunge. I've been um, operating the high lunge with a little bit of a wider stance. And when you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Good. Once in your high lunge, take your right hand and make a cuff around your left wrist. And make a tight fist with your left hand. As you lean to the right, with your right hand, feel like that cuff is trying to pop your fist off your arm bone. That's a terrible image. Remember when you used to flick dandelion heads off the dandelion when you're a little kid? Like have that kind of sensation here. Left heel is pressing backwards. Left fist is reaching up and away. Slowly draw your arms back to the sky, swing your hands down to the floor and step your left leg behind your right leg, coming into a cross-legged forward fold at the top of your mat. Your feet are not right next door to one another. The left leg is a little bit behind you. And then you decide maybe a little bit more weight into the right foot and feel the right outer hip trying to lift up towards the sky. With a breath in, elevate your chest. Place your hands on your hips, stand up. My right leg is still in front of the left leg. Reach, I'm gonna turn this way. Reach both arms to the sky. Exactly what you did, take your right cuff around your left wrist, make a tight fist with your left hand. Begin to lean to your right, and then slowly bend your right knee. Your left leg is straight. Right knee is bent. See if you can get a little bit more space out of the left side of your waist. Ugh. Breathe in, rise to the top. Breathe out, take your hands down to the earth. Dance move, turn to your left. Just swivel your feet, heels in, toes out and sink your hips down into malasana. So you're facing all the way to the other end of your mat. You guys, yes, exactly. You should have turned all the way around. I can see who the dancers are. And, and <laughs> good, take whatever version of Malasana would feel good here for your hips. All right, from Malasana, look forward. 
Walk your hands forward into plank. Walk your feet underneath you into plank. Pause in plank pose. Squeeze your hands into the mat. Feel the outer energy of the arm bones drawing towards one another like your thumbs are trying to have a conversation. Pull your head heart forward. Keep that sensation. Bend your elbows lower half or all the way down. Breathe in cobra or up dog. Tuck your toes, drive back, downward facing dog. So you have a new view, right? You should be facing the opposite end. Lift your left leg up into the sky and step your left foot between your hands. Prepare for your high lunge on the second side. And when you're ready, rise on up. Take your left hand, grab your right wrist and then make a tight fist with your right hand. As you lean to your left, you don't have to go far to feel um, quite a lot of sensation, but let the cuff of your left hand kind of be tugging that fist, pulling all the skin of your right shoulder, your right armpit, lifting the right rib off your right waist. Good, breathe in, rise through the center. Breathe out, swing your hands down to the earth and then step your back foot to the top of your mat, but it's behind the front guy. So the left leg is forward, right leg is backwards and hang over the legs in this revolved standing forward fold or cross standing forward fold. The more I drive into the ball of the left foot, the left big toe and try to lift the left rim of the hip, the more intense it is on that left IT man. And then breathe in, lift your chest, lift your eyes. You could soften your knees here, put your hands on your hips and stand up. Reach your arms up. Right hand takes your left wrist, make a tight fist with your left hand and start to lean. I say that backwards, I said it backwards. Left hand grabs right wrist, lean to your left and then slowly bend your left knee. See if you can find a little added bonus, right, through the right side. Breathe in, rise to the center. Breathe out, swing your hands down to the ground. So right now you're facing one way of your mat. You're gonna turn around and you should be facing the original front, heels in, toes out, and sink your hips down into Malasana. That was our dance move. Any variation of Malasana, if you wanna take your hands away, right? I probably won't offer an arm balance if you wanted to slip in a Kasana here. You know who you are, but we'll spend another three to five breaths. And then kind of playfully eyeball the top edge of your mat and then stay low and kind of pounce your way into plank pose. Pause in plank, walk your feet underneath you, long arms, thumbs feel like they're sliding towards one another. Pull your head heart forward, bend your elbows, maybe just lowering half or all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Tuck your toes, exhale, drive back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right heel to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. Mm -hmm. Inhale, right heel to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot lightly between your hands and slide your left heel onto your mat, this time preparing for warrior two. Cartwheel, rise up and open. From warrior two, inwardly rotate your arms. So thumbs down, baby fingers high. Take your arms behind your back, interlace your feet in the chest. The chest will stay facing the long side of your mat. It won't turn forward. With your knuckles and your wrists, start to lean the right shoulder to your right knee and stretch your knuckles for your left heel. Roll the right ribs underneath you. Roll the left ribs towards the sky, maybe even taking your chin up towards this, yes, just like that. Holding here for three, 
Could you bend your right knee deeper for two? Left collarbone needs some sunlight for one. Press through your legs, rise on up, open your arms out like a T. Cartwheel your hands down on either side of your front foot and step back into down dog. That was exciting. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left shoulder, hover here momentarily. Inhale, left leg to the sky, and then step your left foot between your hands. Guide your right heel onto your mat, preparing for warrior two. Stay low in your legs and cartwheel up and open. Vera B. And if you stood up and your legs are a little bit off, you'll change it here. And then inwardly rotate, thumbs down. Swing your hands behind your back. When you interlace, other hand on top, and maybe think about the heels of your hands touching. Broaden the collarbones, and then slowly start to lean left armpit, left shoulder towards your left knee, and stretch your wrists, your knuckles towards your right heel. Roll the right belly up, roll the left belly, the left ribs under. Maybe the eyes, the nose start to peer at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. One more breath, press through your feet, inhale, rise, open your arms out like a T. Cartwheel your hands down to the earth and step backwards into downward facing dog. As you walk forward, be um, kind of playful in your feet, just really sensitizing the soles of your feet as you walk to the top of your mat. When you arrive at the top, put your hands on your hips and stand up. Shift the weight into your left foot, right knee to your left. Put your left hand on your right shin. With your right hand, you can kind of nudge the right hip down a bit. And then you're turning from the abdomen like we've been practicing. Turn to your right. Reach your right arm eventually behind you. Let your eyes follow whatever they're looking at at the horizon until maybe your eyes turn and look towards your right thumb. Slowly come back to the center. Even if you lost it a few times, end on a good note, squeeze your knee in and set your right foot on the floor. Transfer the weight. Right foot stays, left knee to your chest. Right hand on your shin, outer left hip drops down. Start to turn from your abdomen. Roll the right ribs forward, roll the left ribs backwards and stretch the left arm towards the back of the room. All right. Trying not to let the breath get really shallow, which it often does in standing balances. Come back to the center. Give your left knee, even if you lost it a few times, end on a sweet note and set your left foot on the earth. Inhale, sweep it up to the sky. Exhale, dive out of the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands on your mat, sneak your body back into plank and hold plank. All right, both hands are gonna stay on the ground. And again, that even distribu uh, distribution of weight between your two hands. Move your big toes to touch. Rock onto the baby edge of your right foot and stack, literally stack your left leg on top of your right. Draw your tailbone, your hips, scoop them underneath you. So you feel like your hips are right underneath the line of your sternum, the line of your heart. Keep your hands pressing evenly into the mat and then draw your head, your heart forward. Squeeze the legs together and feel what's happening through the low belly as you lower half of your body is twisting to the left. I think it's actually harder than side plank. And then slowly come back to the center and do the other side. <laughs> come on to the vein edge of your left foot. Stack the right leg on top of the left. There's this moment here where I have to adjust the booty. Sneak it back underneath you. Hands evenly pressing and then pull the center of your chest, your heart, your nose slightly forward and hold here. 
legs squeezing together. Strangely hard. And come back to the center. Lower down your knees, real soft. Uncurl your toes, take your hips to your heels and come into child's pose. Mm. All right. Just one more standing variation would be so revealing. Breathe in, rise up onto all fours. Tuck the toes, elevate your hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. And then step your left leg into pyramid legs. Pyramid legs. Can soften your knees, put your hands on your hips and stand up. And then again, you have this opportunity once you arrive at standing to negotiate. Stretch your arms to the sky, interlace your hands and feel like your knuckles are gonna poke the ceiling. So this is weird. If your head is looking forward, my head gets in the way of my arms, depending on how you're made, maybe that happens to you too. But if I drop my head back, now my arm bones feel a little bit more connected to my chest, connected all the way down to my hips. I'm gonna keep that and lean to the right. Let the right wrist, the right knuckles, drag the left knuckles across the way and feel what you feel across the front of your left hip. Breathe in, drive through your feet, rise to the center and release just your right hand to your right hip. Breath in, exhale, reach way out in front of you. I'm gonna high five my Buddha and then put the left hand down on the floor or a block and then rotate the right ribs, the right abdomen rolls on top of the left. Your arm reaching up to the sky is just the candy. Um, I'm really interested and curious about how this feels through the abdomen after all the work we did today. <laughs> really beautiful. Good. One more breath. Look down, place your hands on the earth and step backwards into downward facing dog. Pause here and down dog. Let your heels be heavy. And lift the left leg up into the sky and step your left foot in between your hands. Move your right foot up, over and flat, preparing pyramid legs. Put your hands on your hips and then rise to stand. And once you stand up, if it isn't quite right, just negotiate. Reach your arms to the sky, interlace your fingers, other opposite hand on top and then poke the ceiling. Reach so far up that you feel like you're it's even closer. Yes, Julie. Good. Keep what you have and slowly lean to your left. Remember that your head can get out of the way if it looks up. I think it's different for everybody. Good. Liz, pull the right side, the um, O side of the ohm, pull the right side forward. Good, and then see if your elbows are leaking for everybody, lengthen through the elbow joint. Inhale, rise to the sky. Exhale, put your right hand on your hip. Keep your, did I say that right? Left hand on your hip, right arm high, and then slowly reach out in front of you, revolved triangle pose. And then moving from the abdomen, left ribs roll on top of the right. The arm is just candy. It's an extension of what's happening as you radiate from your belly button out. So feel like you're not practicing from the periphery, but instead you're practicing from the inside out. Yeah. Good. Good, Elizabeth, I just remembered your email from yesterday. I'm wondering if this is helpful for sciatica, yeah. Left collarbone, some light. One more moment. Look down, release your hands. And this time step forward. Step forward and pause. 
right, let's keep some space between your feet, but bend your knees and returning to chair pose just for a second. It's just a transition. And then head and arms forward, hips backwards, flat back it for a moment. And then the more I reach out through the head and the fingers, the easier it is to lower the seat. But if your knees say you got to get down a different way, that's just the way it goes. And you'll just do that and we'll meet down on the floor. Okay. Once you're down here, take your hands like right at your butt here and pull it forward. Pull the flesh of your, um, your glutes a little bit forward. And then I'm going to keep my hands on the backs of my thighs and lean back. If your tailbone is super bony and you want to put a little blanket or a little softness, a little um, towel underneath there, I get it. But um, when we started this morning, we were on our backs and we we're having that sensation of the um, seasonal galette of everything, <laughs> the dough folding in. With, so see if you can create that here, right? The dough, everything folds in. I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground for this first round, but take your hands and punch the front of the room. The elbows are long, so the arms are straight, the shoulders are making space for your upper back. And then slowly turn to your right, keeping both arms straight. So you probably could go further if you bent the elbows, but I'm consciously keeping both arms straight. And then slowly come back to the center and turn to your left. And then slow center. Put your hands on the fronts of your shins and lift up your heart high. Now, obviously you could do it like that again, right? Or we're gonna coil back. Again, I'm gonna take this flesh and kind of move it forward. Fists with your hands. You could keep your legs where they are or lift the feet on up. I actually think the first one might be harder, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll do a lab experiment right here. Turn to your right without letting your legs, your knees do anything. Both elbows are straight. Notice if your feet are like, ee, or ee, or ee, can you keep the legs exactly as is? And then slowly come back to the center. To the left, keeping both elbows straight, legs not moving. And slowly come back to the center. Grab your legs, put your feet down, and lift up through your chest. I got a little cramp. All right, third time's the charm, as they say. You could keep your feet on the ground. You could keep your knees bent. We're gonna scoop again. You could take it at 90, feet on the floor, or the obvious conclusion, extend the legs. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Last time, arms out in front of you. I think it's gonna go bad for me. I can just, I'm feeling. Turn to the right. And we're holding, we're holding, holding. Actually squeezing the legs together is kind of helpful. And then come back to the center and turn to the left. Oh boy. And come back to the center. Calmly put your hands on your legs. Bend your knees. That is hard. Okay, cross your legs, step forward. This will be our maybe last or second to last down dog. All right, slip your knees onto the earth, undo your toes, come onto your heels, and then slide your hands behind you. I don't know if it matters if your fingertips face you or face away up on the fingertips. I don't think it matters. It might. You'll, you'll let me know. Push your shins into the floor, push your feet into the floor and scoop your tailbone up. And then lift up, 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 up. It helps a lot to keep firming the bones of the bottom part of your legs into the ground. And then lower your hips down, shift forward and come onto your forearms. Interlace your fingers, tuck your toes, and jackknife your hips to the sky, coming into dolphin pose. Lift your low belly way up and in. Good. 
Good, one more breath. And then slowly lower your knees down to the ground. Rise on up onto your shins. You could tuck the toes under or keep the shins on the earth. But take a moment to scoop the belly, stretch your arms forward. And then it's like this explosion, fireworks as your heart lifts up and place your hands on your low back or reach your hands right away for your heels. But we'll do it again, Ustrasana. Mm. And then breathe in, rise to the center. I'm sort of um, into these two poses together and then come back down onto your forearms. You could repeat dolphin if you feel like headstand might be um, a better option or just sounds like something that would feel good right now. You could tuck the toes and put your head on the earth and maybe lift up here. But um, if not, no big deal. Keep your head off the ground and repeat dolphin pose one more time. And we'll spend three to five breaths experimenting with that. Good. And then one more time, slowly float your knees, really take your time and rise on up. Of course, you could do this with your toes tucked under, but um, reach your arms in front of you and scoop the low belly, pull the shoulder blades apart. And so it's like a surprise action, you're like, woohoo, and then lift on up and maybe reach for your heels or reach for your low back. And one more time. Oh, that used to not be in my repertoire of favorites, but now it is, it's made its way over COVID, camel made its COVID way. And then gently rise when you're ready and have a seat on your heels. Take a second to just close your eyes. Mm. Mm. Flutter your eyes open and shift your hips off to one side. And then we'll stay on our seat. Stretch the left leg out in front of you and place the sole of your right foot into your left inner thigh. Janu Shurshasana. Use your hands, pick it up and adjust. Breathe in, stretch your arms high to the sky and exhale, gently fold over. Um, so the subtlety of moving the abdomen in the twist, see if you can tap into that here. The left belly, the left ribs are pulling to the left and the right ribs are continue to move underneath to coax the spine over to the left leg. So it's kind of this internal little um, shift, this internal little drive over to the left leg. One more, big deep breath in and big deep breath out. First step, heart high, straighten the spine and rise on up. Take your right knee to the sky and stamp your right foot onto the floor. And then the left arm comes around, hugs the right leg, the right hand by your, let's not give the right hand that much power. He's just there for leverage, but you're not using that. Use the abdominals as you turn the left ribs, the left belly, let that initiate the twist. And for the sake of experimenting, you can pretend someone grabbed your left leg, your left heel, and they're pulling it forward. Allow the pelvis to go with you. That used to be something that yoga teachers never said, but I changed my tune a little bit about that especially if you're on the ground and the floor has the weight of your body, the weight of the pelvis, go ahead and let the pelvis move a little bit and see if what that does as you twist around to the right. And then slowly move your chin back to the center and let the twist dissolve. Switch legs, right leg long, Left leg back, sole of the left foot into the right inner thigh. Use your hands to pick it up, readjust. Breathe in, swing your arms high to the sky 
and exhale, fold over the leg. And then here, see if you can find that subtlety of drawing the right ribs, the right belly back and encouraging the left ribs, the left belly forward. One more breath. Exhale. Lift your forehead, lift your heart, gently rise. And then slide your foot onto the floor. Right arm comes around. You could lock that elbow if I didn't say it on the first side, but if you like that better, that's fine. And then try not to give your left hand too much credit. You're using it for sure for some leverage, but see if you can pull the strength from the belly, from the right ribs, the right abdomen, and turn to the left. And lastly, sense that someone has your right heel and they're tugging your right heel forward so the pelvis gets to move with you. Two more breaths. One more breath. Turn your head to the front and let the twist dissolve. And then reach both legs out in front of you. Reach your arms up towards the sky and Paschimottanasana fold over the legs. If this forward fold doesn't really serve you, um, you could bend your knees and take Tarasana. That would be just fine. But feel like you're you know that you're coming in for the close. So allow there to be this um, message right, to the rhythm of your breath, the weight of your skull. And slowly lift your face, lift your chest and rise on up. Reach your arms out in front of you really detailed tailbone scoops underneath and then lowering down bone by bone by bone. And once you get down onto your back, we should be on the very end of the last track of this playlist. If you're not, or if you know your um, Spotify will reset, you can let this kind of soften out or um, turn your volume down now. And then once you're down and you're ready, maybe throw your extra layer of clothing back on and we'll slip into a big shape of an X and just rest. Oh, good idea.
as you continue to rest on the earth, allow your ears to take in the sounds of your body living and breathing. Allow your ears to take in the sounds of the room, the space that you are inhabiting. See if like sonar and um, like your ears can grow bigger and take in sounds even further away outside of your space, outside of your home, even to the outside world. Allow that to serve as a tether of sorts as you begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. If there's a stretch that would serve you, take that. <laughs> Bend your knees. Gently roll over onto your sides. Press your hands into the earth, rise to a seat. And turn and face whatever your front is. We'll sit up tall, draw your hands together at your heart, always taking a moment to acknowledge how you feel. It sets us up for success, right? If you're feeling energetic, peaceful, hopefully something good happened, and whatever that is, settle on that feeling so that you're reminded. It's a gentle reminder. You're laying, um, laying the bricks, planting the seeds that you'll show up again. that you have the capacity, you have the power to create this feeling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Namaste. Thanks for practicing, everybody. It's time for this seasonal galette. <laughs> Uh, Hugh and what? A pear. It's a pear. Oh, it's a pear? I don't know what the season is, mate. I don't know.